Trade Guitars. I'm John, that's Zach behind the camera, and this is Play and Trade Guitars, where we play it and trade it. And today, I'm going to take a crash course on the Gibson and Epiphone SG. SG stands for solid guitar, and there's great choices at every price point from both Gibson and Epiphone. I'll tell you in which cases it might be better to consider Epiphone over Gibson and vice versa. I'll tell you the reasons behind that, and I'll give you kind of a breakdown by price, kind of low to high, and give you the equivalent across the Gibson and Epiphone lineup for the SG. So let's get to work. Remember at the top, hit subscribe. You can watch all the demos for these guitars across the channel, and I have those linked in the description too. And when you're ready to buy a guitar like an SG or any other gear, remember to click to buy using our link because it does support our channel, and you get really great easy payment plans and fast free shipping, so it makes buying new gear really easy. Without wasting any more time, let's dive into this comparison of the Epiphone and Gibson SGs that are available to you in today's market so that you can find the right one to buy. That's my goal. All right, let's kick it off with a look at the most affordable Gibson SG. It's also one of my favorites. This is gonna be the Gibson SG Tribute. At a price tag of $12.99, it represents a great value. And I'll tell you what, I would not be surprised if this price actually goes up in the near future. So I think it's a good opportunity to jump on this one. The SG Tribute is gonna have a satin nitro finish. It's made in America. It's got plucked frets. It's got great hardware and components. The satin finish saves a little bit of money in labor and production. So those savings are passed on to you. And then the other difference about the Tribute from the other SGs from Gibson is that it has a maple neck. So it has a mahogany slab body like a, any other SG but it has a snappier maple neck, which I actually tend to really like. So it's kind of a distinct pop in tone that I like a lot. If you wanna look at the Epiphone comparison, I'd actually jump to the top of the Epiphone range and compare the Tribute to the $999 Les Paul SG 1961 model, which is kind of a collaboration between the Gibson Custom Shop and Epiphone. At $999, you get a hard shell case with that. Yes, you get Gibson Burst Bucker pickups in the SG, but the rest is kind of just an Epiphone guitar at a $1,000 price point. And I will tell you right out of the gate, this is valuable information I'm giving to you right up top. If you're in the market for an SG and you can spring for the extra money to get the tribute from Gibson over that $1,000 1961 Les Paul SG from Epiphone, I would do it. It's gonna be better quality components, it's gonna hold its value for resale, and it's gonna be just a better playing experience in my opinion. So that's one bit of advice I'll give you straight up top, is in comparing that 1961 SG Les Paul to the Tribute, I would pick the Tribute anytime. All right, let's talk SG Standard from Gibson. So the SG Standard has a large guard, great look. This is kind of the quintessential SG, and this has a price tag of $17.99. I would also have you compare this one to the 1999 61 standard SG, which is just a beautiful guitar and one of my favorites. If I had to choose between these two, I would definitely steer you towards the 61 standard. Uh, beautiful guitar, it's gonna have a small guard and it's gonna have a few different features from the standard, but for the extra couple hundred bucks, I think you'll find that it's worth it in terms of the playing experience and sound. First of all, with the 61, you get those 61 pickups, which I absolutely love. You get a slightly slimmer neck than kind of the medium profile of the standard, and you get the looks with that small guard, and you also get kind of a different neck joint. You have a neck that meets the body at the last fret, and all the characteristics of a 61 SG that I think make the extra money well worth it when it comes to this price point, especially because here's the other thing, they don't include a hard shell case with the standard at $17.99. And to me, that's kind of crazy. So if you want a medium neck, that's gonna be the reason to choose the standard. But if you want my best well-rounded opinion on which one to buy between those two, I would definitely steer you to the 61 SG standard and you can look at that demo on our channel. In fact, you can watch both demos for those guitars on our channel. Now, when it comes to Epiphone, they've been doing a great job with the Inspired by Gibson line, giving you equivalents for the more expensive Gibson. So, of course, you're going to save a lot of money in the onset when you buy an Epiphone. And they have the equivalent SG Standard and SG Standard 61 from Epiphone, both just under $500, which is really a great value. Uh, the SG Standard in the Epiphone lineup has the El Nico Classic Pro pickups, which is probably my favorite pickup from Epiphone. So, in that 
instance, I might steer you towards the SG Standard from Epiphone. Although the 61 is gonna have the Pro Buckers, which is also a great sound. And again, if you like the cosmetics of the Small Guard and the 61 stylings, it's also available from Epiphone. And while you're saving a lot of money, you're not gonna get things obviously like Nitro Finish, you're gonna have a Poly Finish instead. You're not gonna have the same quality of components. You're not gonna have plect frets. Um, and it's not gonna be made in America, it's gonna be made overseas. So it kind of depends on where you wanna put your money because again, the Gibson will hold its value better, but you're gonna save a lot more money up front in the purchase. Uh, it'll be much more affordable for the Epiphone lineup. Back to Gibson and one of my absolute favorites. In fact, Zach bought this guitar and loves it. We're gonna move to the SG Special. At $15.99, I almost can't believe they haven't raised the price on these because it's a great guitar. It comes with a hard shell case and here's the thing, it has P90 pickups and I love the sound of P90s. And one of the considerations when you are shopping for an SG should be first, do you want P90s or humbuckers? And that's where the SG Special is going to deliver with that classic biting P90 sound. And great finishes on those as well. And at $15.99, it's a great value. You can save about $1,000 if you want to buy the Epiphone equivalent instead. And if you're somebody who typically plays single coils like on a Fender or if you're typically playing humbuckers on most of your Gibsons and you just want to own a guitar that has P90s just to be able to round out your collection and sound. It's also a great idea to look at the Epiphone SG Special at 449 because then at least you can own one guitar with P90s if you don't have one already. And those are a lot of fun and they sound really good too. So P90s, SG Special, just remember that. If you can spring for it, the SG Special from Gibson is one of my favorites and one of Zach's favorite SGs and favorite Gibsons, period. So I would really steer you towards the SG Special if you want the P90 sound. Back to Gibson, we talked about that 61 standard, which I love so much. There's also two other iterations that are offered, and that is the Maestro Vibrola and the Sideways Vibrola, both of which are gonna cost more money. In fact, the Sideways Vibrola is gonna cost you $23.99 versus $24.99 for the Maestro Vibrola. If you want my honest opinion, this is where Epiphone is gonna win because unless you are dead set and gigging out and owning a guitar with a Maestro Vibrola with all its quirks and charm, I think $2,500 for an SG with a Maestro Vibrola, to me, it's too much. And if, again, in the same reasoning that if you wanna own a guitar with P90s, buy the Epiphone, if you wanna own a guitar with a Maestro Vibrola, I'd point you towards the $599 Epiphone SG61 standard with the Maestro Vibrola, 600 bucks, you have one guitar in your collection that has a Maestro Vibrola. Unless you are somebody who loves the Vibrola so much that you must spring uh, for the 2499 Gibson version, I don't think you need to, because it's kind of a specialized sound unless you're really committed to gigging out with that. And most people are not. So go for the Epiphone in that instance, you'll save a lot of money and uh, free you up to buy more gear. All right, here's an iconic artist model, the Tony Iommi Monkey SG Special. This is also gonna have P90s and it has a direct corollary with Epiphone as well because there's also the Iommi Monkey from Epiphone for $999. Uh, for $23.99, you can get the Gibson version, and the biggest thing to remember about the Tony Iommi SG Special is that it has a really thick neck compared to other SGs. So if you want an SG with a thick neck, which can be hard to find because most SGs, given that they were developed in the early 60s, have slimmer necks. The SG Standard, like I told you, will give you a medium profile neck, but if you want kind of a baseball bat neck on an SG, which is not always easy to find, you can find that in today's lineup with the Tony Iommi. Again, $23.99 for Gibson or $999 for Epiphone. It's another one of those things where if you're gonna gig out with this guitar and you really want an SG with a fat neck and you like the Tony Iommi vibe, you know, the extra money that you're gonna put into the Gibson, again, it's gonna hold its value. Yes, it's more expensive. Or if you just want an homage to Tony Iommi and you want one SG with a thick neck, uh, the $999 is not a bad way to go with Epiphone either, although it's not gonna hold its value, obviously like a Gibson when you drop $1,000 on an Epiphone. Well, that 61 Maestro Vibrola was $24.99, and I told you, unless you're die hard on the Maestro Vibrola, you can skip that, but the other one at the same price point, this is gonna be the most expensive Gibson SG, which does something unique and does something different from everything else in the lineup is the SG Modern. This is a really cool take on the SG that has things like a asymmetric uh, slim taper neck and all sorts of modern kind of high performance features on this guitar, extra electronics, a lot of extra capabilities, a very cool guitar. 
and definitely worth checking out. It's got an ebony fretboard. And again, because of the Inspired by Gibson line, there is a direct comparison with the Epiphone SG Modern. In this case, the SG Modern from Epiphone is gonna be 549 versus 2499 from Gibson. Again, more high performance, more high quality from Gibson, but saving you a lot of money if you want something a little different in the Epiphone lineup. They're giving you a lot of good options these days and it's kind of hard to go wrong. If I had to sum up the Epiphone column of guitars, the only one that I would probably say to skip in favor of Gibson specifically is going to be that 1961 Les Paul SG. Um, because at $999, if you can spring the extra to get the tribute, I think it's gonna be well worth it. The rest of the guitars in the Epiphone lineup are so cool because they have distinct reasons to be owned as one-off guitars or to be owned as your main guitar if you want affordable SG to play. Again, in the same instance that maybe you're a Tele or a Strat or a Les Paul player and you just want to own one SG, you cannot go wrong with the Inspired by Gibson lineup from Epiphone. These are great guitars. They're not going to necessarily have the consistency or setup out of the box, so you got to watch your setup when you buy these new. And also, you got to remember that the quality of the components is not going to be quite what it is with Gibson, of course, but you're saving a heck of a lot of money up front. So if you just want one SG in the stable that you're going to play at home or in the studio, absolutely nothing wrong with the lineup from Epiphone. And then when we move over to Gibson, the ones that I'm going to tell you to skip in, in favor of Epiphone are going to be pretty much anything again with a Vibrola. Sideways, I would stay away from altogether. If you've not played one, it's going to throw you a little bit. It's very different. Um, that's how it was originally designed, but it didn't last. They brought it back at a high price tag. I can tell you to probably skip that one. The Maestro Vibrola is more of a traditional trem arm with its quirks and, like I said, some charm as well. A cool sound. But if you want to get that sound for much less, check out the Epiphone variant. It'll do a lot for you. Now, in those side-by-side -side comparisons, we went Gibson and Epiphone and back and forth. There's two distinct SGs that you can only get from Epiphone that are really worth checking out. There is no comparison at Gibson. One of those is going to be the Prophecy SG. The Prophecy is going to have Fishman Fluence pickups. This is designed to be a hard rocking guitar if you play metal. Uh, if you want a very modern, hard sound, the SG Prophecy is definitely worth checking out. You won't find an equivalent in the Gibson lineup. That guitar at $899 pulls its value because it's distinctly different and worth owning if you're looking for that type of sound and that type of feel. The other one, which just looks so dang cool, is the SG Custom at $629. And the SG Custom, it basically has the stylings of a Les Paul Custom. It's gonna have a beautiful tuxedo look, it's gonna have block inlays, and it's gonna have a split diamond uh, headstock inlay, which is just beautiful. It's a gorgeous looking guitar. And uh, unless you wanna spring for something from the Gibson Custom Shop for many, many more thousands of dollars, there's nothing in the Gibson USA standard lineup that's gonna give you the look of an SG Custom. It's only available from Epiphone for 629. So the Prophecy and the SG Custom are distinctly different and distinctly worth taking a look at in the Epiphone lineup. Remember that when you're shopping for an SG, base it really on these three main things. First, do you want humbuckers or P90 pickups? Humbuckers are gonna be a thicker sound. P90s are gonna be more of a single coil with a lot more kind of bell quality singing tone, a little bit more grit and bridge position, a big sweet fat lows in the neck, uh, but definitely a different sound. You can check out our video comparing um, P90s to humbuckers as well. That's your first consideration. Second consideration is the neck shape. Most SGs are gonna have slim tapered necks unless you want a medium neck. Remember, SG Standard will deliver a medium profile neck while the Tony Iommi will give you a big baseball fat neck on an SG, which is pretty distinct and unique in and of itself. The third thing is gonna be the finish. Do you want gloss or satin finish? Now, when we talk finishes, only at Gibson are you gonna get a nitro finish. Built in the USA, full nitro finish, and you can get gloss or satin depending on the application. With Epiphone, they're all gonna be poly finishes. There are some sort of faded finishes that they offer. Again, like I mentioned on the 1961 Les Paul SG at $999, that has more of a matte finish, which would, which would kind of imitate to me like a satin nitro finish, even though it's poly. There is one exception to my Maestro Vibrola speech on Gibson that I almost missed, and I'm gonna put that here. And that is the SG Maestro Vibrola equipped faded 61 SG, because that's got a price tag of $21.99, making it much more reasonable if you're looking for a 61 SG, which I told you I loved, 
with an equipped Maestro Vibrola. The only difference is it's not gonna be a gloss nitro finish, it's gonna be a satin nitro finish. So if you prefer a satin nitro finish, which many players do, and you want a Maestro Vibrola, that's where this is gonna check the box and actually be a really good value from Gibson, all things considered. All right, you hung with me till the end, so I'm gonna give you my top three favorites from Gibson and my top three favorites from Epiphone. Remember though, if you're in the market for any of these guitars or any gear, click to buy using our link. Thank you for doing that, it really does help us. All right, my top three Gibson SGs, here we go. Number three is the Gibson SG Tribute. I love this guitar. It's the most affordable in the lineup at $12.99, and it sounds great with that snappy maple neck. It's a high quality guitar, comes with a hard shell case, hard to beat. Number two, the SG Special. I can't get enough of this guitar. It looks incredible with those finishes and the P90s make this a distinct standout. And it's a great price of $15.99 in the entire Gibson lineup. That's a good value. And number one is going to be the Gibson SG Standard 61. Beautiful gloss finish, small guard. It looks beautiful and it sounds absolutely incredible. That to me is maybe the best guitar that Gibson is currently making in production, certainly the best Gibson SG in my opinion. I'll also give, again, just a, just a quick passing reminder that if you want the Maestro Vibrola in Gibson, I'd skip the high price stuff and I'd get the Faded Series 61. Since I love the 61, go with the Faded if you want to add a Maestro Vibrola. All right, my top three from Epiphone. I'm gonna give a passing remark first. These didn't make my top three, but I do wanna give a passing remark to the Prophecy, which holds its own as a distinct guitar, which might not be for me, but could certainly be for you if you want a modern, hard sound. Remember the SG Prophecy. And the other one I'll mention just in passing is the SG Modern because of the extra switching capabilities and again, distinct role that it plays in the lineup. Now for my actual top three Epiphone SGs, number three is gonna be because of value, the 61 Maestro Vibrola. To get an SG with a Maestro Vibrola for $600, to me, that's hard to beat, and you're saving a heck of a lot of money for a specialized application over what you're gonna pay at Gibson. Number two is gonna be the SG Special. In this case, getting P90 equipped guitar for under 500 bucks is impossible, impossible to pass up. And if you're not gonna spring for the Gibson and if you're not a P90 player primarily, do yourself a favor and buy this guitar so you have one guitar with P90s in it at least. And the Epiphone SG Special is a great way to go. And number one, I think because it just nails a well-rounded quintessential take on the SG is just the SG Standard from Epiphone. And I love that guitar because again, if you're not primarily an SG player and you're not gonna spend the money to buy a Gibson, to own one SG, I consider essential. And if you're gonna buy one SG and you don't wanna buy Gibson, I would point you towards the namesake SG standard from Epiphone. You can't go wrong. And it's got those own Nico Classic Pro pickups that I absolutely love. Again, you can watch demos for all these guitars across the channel. I've got links down in the description. Remember to do us a favor and hit subscribe and like on this video, and we'd love to hear your comments. What's your favorite SG? What's your take on Gibson versus Epiphone when you're shopping for an SG? And do us a favor and click to buy using our link when you're ready to make that purchase. It really does help us. Thanks for watching. I'm John, that's Zach behind the camera, and this is Play and Trade Guitars. Head over to our demos, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for hanging out.